Hey there Plan Beers, greetings and welcome back to another episode of Plan B Success. We spend a lot of our time thinking about what we are good at. We identify our strengths and weaknesses and then try to improve the former and fix the latter. This is a good thing. But sometimes when we focus so hard on what's wrong with us that we forget to think about what's right with us, it can lead to feelings of frustration and inadequacy in ourselves. This is not something that should be taken lightly. When you learn how to find your latent talents instead of just working on your weaknesses, you can become more self-confident and happier in life because you will start feeling like who you really are rather than trying to be someone else entirely different. So let's go over some tips for finding out if there are any hidden talents within yourself or maybe even traits or hobbies from your family tree that have been waiting patiently beneath all those layers until they can finally emerge into the light of day. Think about what you were good at as a kid and young adult. As a child, what did you enjoy doing? What were the things that came most easily to you? What were your strengths and interests? As a young adult, what did you do for fun? In your spare time, what activities did you enjoy or excel at, such as sports teams, clubs, etc.? When working in a job, what tasks did you take on and perform well, if any? And why do those stand out as being different from others' jobs they've had? At home, with family, what kind of job could be done around the house that suited your skills and interests best? such as cooking meals for everyone, organizing domestic finances, cleaning up after everyone else, things like those. What activities do you enjoy to relax? When you're relaxed, what activities do you enjoy? What do you look forward to doing when it's your time off? Do you like to watch sports or play them yourself? Are there certain games that keep your attention for hours on end even though other people don't understand why? When I was in high school, my best friend had a soccer game during the weekdays and we'd play video games at night instead of going out. Now that he's much older and has more money, he still plays video games almost exclusively. But now it's usually Fortnite. What about when you're stressed? What activities calm your nerves or help bring clarity back into focus for the challenges ahead of you? Maybe reading is how you unwind after a stressful day at work. Maybe making music helps clear away anxiety from the day before. Or even gives new perspective into solutions that have been staring you right in the face. Think about how you spent your last vacation and why. To uncover your latent talents, think back to your recent vacation. Remember what you did and how you felt during that time period. Was there anything that stood out as different? Did any activities stick out as particularly fun or enjoyable? If so, why? Look at the hobbies of your parents and grandparents. When you're trying to find your latent talents, it's worth looking at the hobbies of your parents and grandparents. You may have inherited a talent from one of them and you may have never realized it until now. Even if you did not know about their skills before, don't be afraid of trying new things as an adult. People can learn new skills at any age. So give yourself permission to go through the process and see what happens if you put in the effort. Ask your friends what they think you're good at and be ready to hear some hard truths from them. A brave step is to ask your friends what they think you're good at. You might be surprised by their answers. They may not be the same things that you would list as your strengths. Ask the people who are close to you and who know you well, but don't take any one person's opinion as gospel. This is just a starting point and it can provide useful insights into how others perceive your talents and abilities. Ask yourself, what do I like doing? 
If you enjoy something, it probably means that somewhere down the line there will be some measure of success with it, even if it's just fun. There's no sense in wasting time trying to develop talents that are not actually latent. The whole point of identifying your talents is to help you focus on the things you should be working on. And if you're interested in something that isn't latent for you, it's likely that someone else can do a better job than you. You might have a friend who's really good at playing sports or another person who loves science fiction books but doesn't know how to write them, and that's fine. They should be pursuing those things instead of writing their own sci-fi book, unless they want to. But when it comes to your own pursuits, it's important that you know what makes sense for yourself and what doesn't. If there are fields where others seem more talented than you, accept this fact and move on with your life. And maybe even help them out once in a while too. These tips will help you figure out what latent talents are hiding in your brain. Remember, the most important thing is to be open-minded and not get discouraged when you don't find them immediately. The journey of discovering your hidden abilities can take years, but the reward of finding out what makes you unique is worth it. Hey Plan Beers, I hope you are enjoying this content and finding use for it. Do not forget to share, subscribe and spread the word through your favorite podcasting platform as well as through YouTube. Make sure you leave a review, a comment and of course check out planb.live, my coaching platform where I'm helping small businesses get to the next level as quickly and as robustly as they can.